Okay, well, first off, I want to start off by saying um, my time spent here at the University of Southern California has been a blast. I wouldn't take back or trade anything that has happened throughout these past four years that I've been here. Being here, making the decision to attend this university and play football here has really changed me as a man and helped me grow for the better. But uh, after talking to my parents, you know, consulting what's best for my future, I've decided to forego my senior year of eligibility and enter the 2014 NFL Draft. Um, the main reason behind um, ultimately making this decision is me and my parents feel that I, I've done a lot in my career here at SC, you know, making all conference at two different positions, um, you know, being pretty productive, pretty consistent on my productivity throughout my time here. And I just feel that it, it's not much more I believe I can do to improve my individual performance um, numbers wise. So I just feel that uh, with me graduating and having my degree already and being healthy and uh, coming off a really good season, uh, I feel like it's best for me to enter the draft now. Questions? Was it a difficult decision, Dion? Definitely, it seemed a lot easier of a decision to make until our bowl game, you know, it got closer, and then we went out there and just having a blast together, and then going out there and the way we went out, it, it was very emotional after the game. But ultimately, me and my parents, we sat down multiple times, and we came to a decision that this is what's best for my future. Was there any thought process of staying with the coaching change and coach, coach start coming in? Um, no, not really. Uh, at the point the coaching change, had happened, I mean, I had already reached the peak of my season already, really, to where I, I was, you know, thinking it's going to be hard to to improve number-wise on what I've done over the past three years and finishing the way I did this year. So the coaching change really didn't have any effect on my decision. Did you get any like, feedback from the NFL yet from your draft staff? Um, no, I did not. I did not enter an uh, NFL evaluation. Um, I don't think it'll influence them at all. At the end of the day, everybody has to make a decision on what's best for their individual future and not be affected by what, what others are doing. I'm sure everybody's going to sit down with their parents and they'll all come to a, a decision that is best for, for them and not based off of anybody else's decision. Did you meet with Coach Sarkeesian? Uh Yes, I did uh, prior to going to the bowl game. He just expressed his support in whatever decision I made, and he uh, expressed that he's a, a resource to me if I needed him to, to dig more on, on uh, you know, information and buzz about my name at the next level. He could do that, and he explained to me the, you know, the philosophies he's bringing in, and his expectations and the possibilities of, of returning and everything. But he didn't. It wasn't him being a recruiter. He was, he was genuine. He really wanted, really wanted to express to me how. He, he, he wasn't here to try and recruit me to come back. He wanted me to make my decision based on what was best for me and my family. And he, he wanted to express that he was a support system for me in whatever decision I made. Coming into the season, was there a point when you knew you were going to leave? Do you have a feeling this was going to be your last year coming into this year? Um, actually, in the beginning of the season, I, I went in thinking it was going to be my last year. But the, the way it started off, I, I didn't really know. Um, how it would turn out because, you know, the, the players on, on better teams have better luck in the draft, so you always want to leave while you're on a, a high note, when you end on a high note with your team. And then the way we just picked it up in, in November and October um, and the way I was playing and plays I was able to make, um, it started to become more clear of what I would decide. Possibly because, like, in 2011, I had 80 tackles and two interceptions, and I made all conference. 2012, we seven and six. I had 80, I think, like 86 tackles and four interceptions, and we get no recognition. We're on the worst defense in the conference. 
So definitely your individual individual performance doesn't carry as much weight as your, your overall team performance. And us going out on a 10 and 4 season, I feel is, is just what's best for me. Um, I'll definitely go off somewhere. I, I've never had the chance to to go away from California. I always wanted to, but I made the decision to stay close to my family to go to college. So while I have the option to, to choose where I can live, you know, I'm going to choose somewhere that has a great facility and focuses on what I what my weaknesses are and uh, choose a city to live in that I've always wanted to live in. You never know. I mean, I could end up, you know, in a very cold place like like Robert did. So. You know, I'm gonna enjoy the tropical weather or whatever it is while I have the option to. Uh, definitely. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, athletes first. Actually, the same agent as Woody's. Him, him having him and uh, the process he went through with Robert and just the feedback I got from Robert. On uh, on his agent was nothing but positive, and he really took care of Robert. So it was a pretty easy decision for me in the end. Did you talk to the, uh, some of the other guys like uh, Robbie and uh, Woods? And definitely, definitely. Um, I talked to pretty much every player I've played with here that's playing at the next level. Just you know, getting opinions on if I, they think I could play at the next level. Like, what would I play? And like. Like where would they like where do they see me like in the league? Like would I be like a backup or if I could be a starter and things like that and just seeing the success, the most recent success of players that I've played with that's playing in the NFL. I mean, well over half of the players that I left from here are, are starting on the fifty three man rosters in the NFL. So I mean it definitely gives me the the courage and uh, you know, um confidence in myself that I can be successful at the next level, seeing them who I played with and was able to compete with on the field have this, as much success or the success as they're having. Was Nikel a big factor because even though he didn't get drafted, had a good here? Definitely. It, it pretty much just it shows me that where you're drafted doesn't matter. So I'm not as nervous about the draft anymore. I mean, the higher you're drafted, I mean, the better it is or whatever when it comes to money, but really when it comes to talent and pro productivity on the field, where you're drafted doesn't matter because at the end of the day, only 11 people can go on the field and they're going to put the best 11 out there. So I'm, I'm just, you know, praying and hoping for an opportunity that one team, you know, believes in me enough to give me an opportunity to show them what I can do. Uh, yeah, everyone on my uh, on my team knows what I'm going to decide. I, I spoke to everyone before, you know, before we left on the bowl week, you know, saying goodbyes and things like that. But yeah, he, he's going to have to make his decision. I don't know what his decision is going to be, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to um, you know make the decision that's best for his future.